Today's game is Mr. P. W. Harrison, and the linesmen are Mr. A. Riley and Mr. G. Edgley. Nicosa reached this stage by beating Whitley Lane 3 2 in the second round. Third round, Club Clubmore Nalgo 1 0. Netherby RBL was the fourth round team that Nicosley defeated 1 0. Fifth round, Nicosley defeated East Levensham, and in the semi final at Marine, Eagle Knowsley with a team that Nicosa overcame. Ostreza from London beat L, L City 3-0 after extra time. Grosvenor Park 3-1. Ferns Community after a replay 3-2. Leighton Argyle 1-0 and Slade Celtic 2-0. The semi-final at Carston Athletic, they beat Ran Ranley Sports 2-0. If today game is a draw after extra time, the replay will be on Sunday the 12th of May. Kick off 3 o'clock at Enfield FC. Nicosa joined the Liverpool Business Halls House League in 1983-84 season from the Highton League. They started in Division 2 and gained a lot of experience over the few years. They've never reached this stage of this competition as Oseva haven't and it's a big day for both clubs here. Oseva were only founded in 1990 and previously played over the name of Oakdale United. They are presently top of the Premier Division of the Forest and District Sunday Football League and in this year's FA Sunday Cup competition have only played at home once. Even this match went to a replay. The majority of the squad are made up from semi-professional ranks of Sunday football. More than half the squad play on a Sunday for a Caribbean international sports who run sides in the Essex Business House and Essex Olympia Leagues. A lot of people up from London here today to watch this game and a lot of here from Liverpool as Nicosa get ready to get the game underway. They'll be attacking from right to left in this first half. Ostravik from left to right. A lot of noise here in the stand. Mr. Harrison gets us underway. And Nicosa straight away under pressure there. Number 10, Arthur Murari, put himself in a bit of trouble. As Ostrovic knocked the ball down the line, it's going to go out for a throw. Another throw. That wasn't Kevin, it was Mark Nosey. Mark Nosey does the long throw. Can't find it. Both got up. As Nosey gets ready to throw the and again, this time he gets the flick on. Good play there from Nolan, but then he lost the ball and his foot him. And our strokes of it get the throw in. Down the line it goes. Good header there by number 10, Arthur Mirat. As Ostrukvic get the ball again, they throw it down the line. Again, it's headed out. No. As Norm. Yeah. 
Do you hear the shout of Usabat behind me? That's the Ostrovic shout as Miller throws the ball down the line again. Again, there's Nosy there to head it out for another throw in for Ostrovic. And this one will be the long one. Stan Alexander here, the long throw into And again, Ostrovic get the throw in. As the throw's taken this time, it's taken short. And he couldn't keep the ball in then. Could number eight. As the ball goes, <laughs> now the side really settled down. To yeah, as Nosey plays the ball forward, not a good free kick, but it's gone inside the area. It'll come to the edge of the box. Good play from Nolan up in the air again. Controlled by what Nolan again, and then there's a foul then on number six, Kieran Nolan. Two Nolan, three Nolans in the Nicosi side. I'm not quite sure of the brothers, David, Kieran, and Kevin. I'll find out for you in a minute as Lee Madden takes the free kick. He'll swing it in. It's a good cross, and there's a header but it didn't get on target, and Ostrovic will get the th throw in. There are 80 sides in this competition at the start of it. Worth going to these two sides, and it's a big day for both these clubs. Both have had tough Roots here as that ball forward and offside there against Ian, against David Nolan. <laughs> Nicosi have only ever won the game by a goal. There's only ever been a goal in Nicosi's win. I think the most impressive was against Eagle at Marine. As that ball's played forward again, this time Ostrovic on the attack. Good challenge in there by Nolan as the ball's played down the line again. Nosey's there, he'll hit it out. And Ostrovic get another throw in. Which Tony Mercer's going to take. Mercer, he'll throw the long one in. Takes a bit of a run up, throws it short though instead. Good little bit of play there from the number nine. Oh, he's in the number ten. Good little bit of play there from Lenny Clark. Took on his man and he's won the first corner of the game. Good play from Clark. Took on his defender, Nosey, and went round him. And it was only a desperate lunge that won the first corner of the game, which isn't really clear properly. The ball's still up in the air. Good header out though by Nicosi. Nicosi now trying to build something. But Ostrovic get the ball the keeper, North Miller, tidying things up well at the back. As we approach the five minute mark, neither of these sides yet settled things down enough in the middle to play a bit of football. It's really all high air and blood and guts as the ball is flicked. Notice there, he plays it down the line. Miller though, knocks it And then Alexander goes forward. The ball's played in the area. There's an offside there, surely, yes. Lenny Clark, no, it wasn't Lenny Clark who burst in the box. It was Phil Douglas who played the ball through, though. I've got to say, though, that 
a lot of these players do look the same and with the dark backgrounds on the back the numbers are very hard to tell us Mirafri gets the header forward again that's an offside Ostrevich had to start at the first round. They didn't get through like Nikosa did to a second round start. And I've had to play some eight or nine matches on the way here as Clark turns his way around one, goes past another Clark, dinks a little ball inside. Good ball through them from Lenny Clark and Phil Dale had to come out and collect. He certainly looks lively, the number 10 for Ostrovic. That's the second jinking run he's had as Dale clears the ball upfield. Good header on that by Wilde, and he's picked the ball. Wild and Nolan both exchanging passes, and then Wilde was brought down. And Nicosi get the free kick, which Madden's going to take. He might fancy his luck from here, Madden, as there's a little run by, by Kieran Nolan at the far post. He's unmarked if he can make a run in. He's making a run now as it's played, but it's offside. He just in time his run, and the ball wasn't played perfectly for him anyway. It was always going to elude Nolan. And Ostrovic get the free kick. Great achievement for Ostrovic this to reach the final of such a prestigious competition as the Football Association Sunday Cup competition in only the first season. They've done it all the way from home, travelling to Birmingham to play Grosvenor's Park. And then again to Birmingham to play Sage Celtic as that long kick there from Ben Roy Spring goes straight through to the other keeper, Paul Dale. The semi-final was played against his Renly Sports, who have reached good positions in this competition before. As Nolan gets the header across to that far side, there's another foul there, this time on Salim Marta. No, it's not a foul, says the referee, just to throw him. The challenge looked to be late on Marta. The referee didn't agree with me as Wilde picks the ball up. Good challenge there in the back. And again, Mr. Harrison disagrees with me. He says there's a bit of pushing going on. And Nicosa get the free kick, which Madden's going to take. Madden swings the ball in. Looks to be going too far, but Nose is up there. And then Ostray get the ball back, try and clear, not a good clearance. Back the ball comes to Nose. Nose gets a half ball into the box, falls for Wild. Penalty appeal is given. Ian Wild has got a penalty here for Nicosa after just 10 minutes of this game. Nose played the ball in the box, he took a deflection. Ostray just didn't clear the lines at all. Wild took a step inside his man and was then brought down. I think it was Mickey Leslie or maybe Alex Clark who brought him down. Either way, Nicosa get a penalty, which Ian Wilde is going to get up to take. The temperature's rising here. The Australian fans didn't agree with that decision as Wilde steps up and scores! 1-0 to Nicosa. to take the lead after 10 minutes. Ian Wilde with a penalty, coolly plays past Ben Roy Spring. Nicosia then taking a goal lead. Here after just 10 minutes, an Australian who have looked the better side, playing all the they start to 
trying to do too much again there. And Nicosa get the free kick for a bit of stamping. Find themselves a goal down. He certainly proved a handful of Ian Wilde in these opening minutes for the Australian defence as that ball's played for by Joey Curry. Then and it goes for Stan Alexandra. Notice he picks the ball up, just hits it back to his keeper. Not a massive crowd here, but considering that both these sides have had to travel a significant amount today, especially Australia, who have had to come from London, they've certainly brought a large following. There's a lot of people in the stand here shouting for Australia, and there's, I know there's a lot of people on the far side supporting Nicosa. There's posters all around the ground as that ball's kept in by Mercer. Mercer gets the ball in the box. And there's going to be another corner here for Ostrave. Joey Gilbray got back then to deflect the ball behind for the second corner for Ostrave. They'll want to get straight back in this game after conceding that goal. As that ball's played short here for Miller. Inside the box, good header out by Mirari. But it back he comes, he's surely got to be put in the net. No! Gormo scramble, extraordinary. Mercer, Alexander and Clark all presided to just stand over the ball as Wilde gets a little trip burn. There's a free kick given to Nicosi. How that ball wasn't put in the back of the net as it came back in the box, I'll never know. They just seem to stand on each other's foot then, feet then the Australia forwards. As Madden gets ready to take the free kick, he's in no rush at all. As Australia lead to play the offside trap, and then they decide they're not because it's took a deflection wide. Control let him down, and Australia hit it forward. Dials way outside his area here as he kicks the ball forward, and there's an offside decision given. A lot of the players in this Australia side play semi-professionally for South and Wanderers or Bisham Storford. Bisham Storford, I'm sure many people have, have heard of. As Nicosa already have the FA Sunday Cup under their belts. They've always been knocking on door for the final as the shout goes up for Australia. Phil Douglas making the run again. The ball comes back to Miller. Miller plays it forward for Mercer, but it's intercepted by Nolan. Then he loses out to Clark. Clark inside the area, still going Lenny Clark, but he won't keep it in. And Nicosa get the goal kick. Nicosa have reached the quarterfinals of this competition twice, three times, and have reached two, two fourth round ties. So they have a lot of experience in this cup. And manager Terry Elifori will be well pleased with the start. I mean, J Ter manager Joel Gilbrey, player manager. Would be well pleased with the start they made here. As Mark Nosey throws the ball down the line, looking for Nolan. Nolan heads it on. Still in play, Nolan fighting for it. And then the ball in the area. And ben Roy spring has to come up. And then he looks to kick again. The ball's going to come through here. My fault for Douglas but Madden was back to clear and Mercer will get ready to take the throw in 
Tony Mercenar with a long point by the box, looking for Lenny Clark. Clark gets the ball across, but it's a good save there by Paul Dale. Dale, though, can clear it well, and Mercer's up there, and he'll head the ball back forward. Douglas chase him, and then Joey Gilbray clears for the expense of a throw in. Miller takes it, four for Douglas. Douglas over his head there, down the line. Looking for Stan Alexander, but the ball goes out of play before he can reach it. header on by Nolan but there's a bit of pushing in the back as well and Nicosi get the free kick Gilbray with the ball forward not a good free kick he'll be disappointed with that ball forward with the Nicosi manager As the ball goes back to Benroy Spring. He does a little fancy touch with his head before he launches a kick, which I'm telling you will go some 50 or 60 yards, and it has done again. Good header on there by Clark. But again, the Nicosia defence solid as a rock. Coming up to 20 minutes gone in this game, Nicosia still leading through that. Tenth minute goal from Ian Wilde. As Kieran Nolan takes a knock, he's going to need some attention here. He went in with a challenge then with Norman Miller, and he's not really got up since. Just why Nolan is down, I'll just tell you another bit of information about Ostrave. A lot of the players are decorators, plasters, computer engineers, graphic designers, chauffeurs and a pharmacist as the free kick comes Ostrave's way. Why the Nicosi players really do much the same. They pride themselves as a squad rather than having individual superstars, although there are prolific goal scorers who will always catch their eye, like Ian Wilde. As the free kick is wasted there by Miller, and he holds his hands on his head. No seat with a throw in down the line, looking for Nolan, good header up in the air by Douglas, Douglas again battling with the ball and he's won it Phil Douglas finds Tony Merce but Merce's ball goes straight through Lenny Clark now and it's a great throw he's certainly Luke, one of the better players for Ostrave here in the opening minutes has Lenny Clark and whenever he gets the ball happen for Ostrave as Nicosi picked the ball up Samoli Marta then gives it away and there's a free kick there by David Nolan I'm not quite sure who it's on I think it was on Phil Douglas as he receives attention there's another play gone down, it's Nico and a play for Nicosi. <laughs> Graham Taylor says in the programme that he describes this game as the Wembley Cup final for the Sunday footballer. In many ways I suppose it is, with teams competing from London, Merseyside, North East Midlands, 
It really is a national competition. As both players are fit to continue. Alex Clark now will take the free kick. He hits it inside the box. Up go the heads. It's a good header inside. And Nicosi just managed to clear. Only as far as throwing for straight, which will take. Norman Milanar with the throw in. First it is Phil Douglas. He hits it inside then. A good little play by Joe. Headed Nolan, heads the ball out. And then uh, leaves it for Nolan. Nolan on a run here, but Colin Bramble got in the way. And he wins the throwing for Ostrave. Bramble down the line for Mercer. Mercenar needs some support. He does well, Mercer, and then gives the ball to Clark. Clark now trying to turn. Again, he needs support. But he's gone round his man. He's gone round another one. Good play from Lenny Clark. He deserved that free kick then because he was willing to take on the Nicosi. Number 10 and number 9. As Mercer takes the free kick to Douglas. Douglas now inside the area. There comes the header and it's just wide. And he's not got up yet. Lambert Joseph. Great header though from Joseph who dived in there. Or was it Joseph? Joseph has just come over to this near side, so it can't be. Again, another player, player down receiving attention. Again, because of the dark numbers on a dark shirt, I'm not quite able to see who it is. That's the cry, a cry from a crowd shite's penalty. I've got a feeling that was from an Australian fan. Welch will be looking on this with concern. The Australian manager certainly don't want to have to lose a player this early on in the game. Only 24 minutes gone, and with his side 1 0 down, it would be a desperate blow to have to take off a player. But he's fit to continue is number five Alex Clark as Dale takes the kick good flick on there by Minori and then Clark picks it up Lenny Clark what can he do lays the ball inside and then the ball's played forward but it's too far forward and Joey Gilbride just knocks it back to his keeper And then he launches the kick, Dale. Dale down the line again. Wilds in there, so's Lenny Clark though. Clark tries a back heel and then gives it away. Somali Mato plays the ball through the middle. Wilds in there, he plays the ball through but there's a free kick been given. Nolan just a bit strong with his challenge. And a strave. Just knock the ball back to the keeper. Ben Roy Spring with a long kick there again. As Douglas plays it forward. Douglas inside the area. There's a bit of indecision in the Nicosia defence. And Lembert Joseph is trying to make up for it. Joseph plays the ball across, but it's gone out before it could take a deflection. And that'll be a goal kick for Nicosia.
Dial with a kick, it's not a good one, and Marin just manages to knock it back to him. He was lucky then, Paul Dial. Just managed to get away with his missed kick as he launches a better kick out. Good header from Miller, though. Clark with the ball, tries to find Mercer, but he can't do. And then the other Clark, Alex Clark, finds Phil Douglas. Douglas plays it forward, but it's just going to go straight through to Kieran Nolan, who works it back to his keeper. And for the first time in the game, the pace has just slackened a bit. We've had, really, 25 minutes of fast and furious football as that kick is launched again. There's a handball there, surely. No, referee plays an advantage as Joseph keeps the ball in play. Then Douglas and then Nosey steps in. Good play from Nicosi. No, plays the ball forward. And then the ball is intercepted by Alex Clark. Who knocks it back to his keeper, Ben Roy Spring. Spring with a kick, it's a massive one again. Notices up, gets ahead on it. Mercenar loses out, and Nolan's going away with it. Good play from Needs support. Ian Wilde made a great run then, and he was brought down. He's we nearly found. Ian Wilde lays the ball off to Arthur Morey. Morey over to Kieran Nolan. There's a bad challenge there by Arthur Miller. And he's squared up here to Nolan. And there's a bit of argy-bargy going on. And now there's a bit of arguing here between the Nicosi players. This is not something we want to see. Terry Effiori and David Knott and Kieran Nolan both having a bit of words and so is Arthur Miller Norman Miller sorry <laughs> bit of malice creeping in then <laughs> certainly something that we don't want to see in a game like this both the sides, though, for the credit, showing a lot of commitment to the cause of winning the game. As Martin, the ball in, the heads go up, it's still up there. No, see, heads it back in, maybe a chance here for Keir, maybe Nolan. Nolan now lays it back to No, see, No, see, gets the ball back in the box, the heads go up. Surely it's got to be in. No, he's missing it. Murphy hits it wide. Selling Matoy was in the end, he scooped the ball wide. No, he crossed it back in and it seemed certain that if somebody could get the shot on target, I thought maybe Arthur Miori or maybe Salim Marta would have finished that off because they were both there and in the end they both just got tangled up in themselves and each other. And the ball goes wide for a goal kick, which Benny Spring takes. Good header there by... Douglas, Douglas played it forward and now nah, Lambert Joseph on a run. Joseph, oh, he can't keep it in. That was a shame because Joseph had a bit of run that bit of room then to run at the defence. As Nosey takes the throw in. Nolan's there, he fights for it and then does the, the manager, Joey Gilbray. And then Alex Clark just knocks the ball out for a, for a Nicosi throw in, which Nosey quickly takes to Nolan. Nolan plays it forward for Effiori, and then Nolan's brought down. Not a good challenge then by Norman Miller, and that's his second one. He's going to have to watch himself because he's already done that twice, and I don't think Mr. Harrison is going to stand for that. He's going to book Norman Miller. That's twice in as many minutes he's brought down David Nolan. And he's going to get booked for it. So the first player to go into the book is an Australian Vic player. 
Norman Miller. As Madden gets ready to take this free kick. Madden swings the ball and it's a good cross. It's there. Again, Nolan can't finish it again. The header comes. He's got to go in. No! Hits the post from Elifiori. But Wilde still has possession for Nicosi Wilde on a run. He's got to overlap if he can give it him. He can't find him. And then it falls for him. Mercer's in there. Gets the ball away. And there's a goal, no. Nolan misses it up. As Samuel Matteo got away on the right-hand side. Wilde did well to find him, but the ball ricocheted and Mercer and Wilde then tangled. And then Matteo got the ball in the box and Nolan flicked the ball. It looked like it was going to go in the corner. In the end, it just went a foot wide. Nicosi starting to make their experience tell as Ben Roy Springs kick goes straight to Phil Douglas. Douglas plays it forward straight at Arthur Miori. And then Miller picks it up inside to Clark. Clark loses out. And then Ifori misses the ball, but he'll get the throw in. Because <laughs> it thought it should have disagreed, though. And Nosi takes it for Nicosi. Four for Elifiori. Elifiori trying to go through and then Nolan trying to go through. Now Wild on the edge of the area. Great ball to the far side for Mature. Mature wins the corner. Ian Wild certainly proved himself a handful for the Australian defence, as has Lenny Clark for the Nicosi defence. Them two players have really shone out here. As Salim Mature. Gets ready to swing the ball in. I know it won't be selling Mitter, it'll be David Nolan. Nolan, not a good corner at all. Straight to Tony Mercer. Mercer clears. But Nicosi pick it up. Nosi has to go all the way back to his keeper and then Madden, who's playing as a bit of a sweeper here. Just draws the man in. And then finally gives it back to his keeper. Just like to mention the chief guest here today, Tom Finney, arguably one of the greatest English footballers ever, scoring an amazing 210 times in 426, 472 games for his one and only club, Preston North End, who, as a matter of fact, we're going to play next Saturday. <laughs> Leslie with a cross in, no seat, no, gets the ball up in the air. And then Gilbert wins it, Mercer now, a chance here to get a shot in, but it's too weak and even off target in the end. And Nicosi get the ball back. Dale with a long kick again, Effler always spent a bit of room here in front of Miller, but Miller did well, and he plays it forward, good control there from the straight forward, lays it back for Mercer. Mercer, everything seems to be coming through him at the moment. As Lenny Clark picks it up now, what will Clark do? He'll swing the ball into the box, to the edge of the area, leaves it for Mercer. Mercer jinking his way through, surely he'll score. There's a dive, appeal for a penalty, he's got to go in, no. Australia clear, Australia can't put it in, and Nicosi clear, and then Gilbert loses out to Nosi. Nosi plays the ball forward. Bramble, Bramble, into the box, up in the air. Nicosi clear, only half to Mercer. Mercer back inside, a little turn, and then before he hits a great shot that could have gone in, then Arthur Miori. I don't know what he was playing at. I think he was trying a bit of a back pass, but Paul Dale had to pull off a fabulous save then to keep it out. And that would have been a fabulous own goal, a disaster for Nicosi and for Arthur Miori. Luckily, Paul Dale put off a terrific save then to keep it out. And Nicosi escaped. Ten minutes to the break. As the ball's crossed in, the heads go up. Miller with the ball, gets a harsh shot in. There's a big scramble in there. Surely 
Estreva put it in. And finally, Nico Ciclia. Things certainly getting a bit panicky in there for Nico. Marta has gone down now. And he'll have to receive some attention. Well, Salam Mata. Just go back to Tom Finney. It was 31 years ago, amazingly, to the week that Tom Finney played his last game for Preston. And in his farewell game, he attracted 27 fans. Turned up at, Pre at Deepdale to watch the North End youth team. Amazing, that, isn't it? The youth teams are lucky at the moment to even attract 27 fans, let alone 27,000. And one thing here, just for both sides, he was never booked or sent off in his entire career. Mercer gets the cross and he'll win the corner. David Nolan doing his job at the back well. Mercer again with the ball, lays it back for Colin Bramble. Bramble's shot, it was blocked then seemingly by Lenny Clark. Back it comes inside the area, again, Os Nikosi try to clear, Nolan with the ball, hits it anywhere he'll do at the Nikosi. But we're being put under a lot of pressure here by this Ostrave attacking prowess. It's a big word for you, as Colin Bramble picks the ball up for you and plays it down the line, but it was always going out of play. And Nikosi get the throw in. <laughs> Nolan with a throw in. Down the line it goes, looking for Matur. Matur heads it on, and then it comes back to him. And then Ostrave tried to head it out, but it goes straight to Wilder, who gets a clever little back in there, back heel there to Mafia, and Mafia was free, fouled. Or Mafia, I should say, not quite sure the pronunciation of that name. Certainly a lot of weird and wonderful names here from either side as Madden plays the ball for Wild, seemed to be fouled. Shot came in from Eli Fiori. He stayed down. And he'll have to receive some attention here. Certainly, when we see our time, there's going to be a lot of injury time. We're going to have to play at least five or six minutes over the allotted 45 minutes, in my view, anyway. As Mr. Harris just having a smile about something. As Ben Roy Spring to take the goal kick. Spring side for Joseph, and he's won the throw in because Mafia. Got his head there first before Gilbert. Douglas, I mean. And Miller takes the throw and down the line. To Alexander. Alexander on a little run. Great little for Jones. can keep it in. He can't do. But that was good play between Stan Alexander and Lambert Joseph. It's just a pity. to make things even more difficult. On the 
the pressure from Mercedes. Down then by David Nolan, and the referee's going to have a word with him. Lenny Clark then on a, another glorious run. He does seem to have twinkle feet when he's going forward. He just seems to ghost past defenders as if they aren't there as Tony Mercer gets ready to take the free kick inside the area. Alexander's up, but so's Dial, and Dial took a bit of a knock but he still managed to keep hold of the ball. As Lenny Clark got in there to do a bit of shoving. Good header back there. And Mercer picks it up, lays it off for Alexander. Alexander, a great ball to Lambert Joseph. Joseph now goes round his man and then is brought down. I've got a feeling here, Kieran Nolan's going to get a, a, at least a lecture of Mr. Harrison. He might be lucky here to escape without a booking because that wasn't a nice tackle from Nolan. It was very late and the ball had already gone. He's got away with just a lecture this time, which I think he'll consider himself lucky as Mercer crosses the ball in the head to go up Alexander. Surely he's gone in! Australia have equalised and they've gone crazy. Lenny Clark has scored for Australia to equalise. He stepped the ball in. 42 minutes gone in this game. And as you can tell from... Certainly appreciated that one from Lenny Clark. He scooped the ball over the line. As it seemed another goal scramble would go to waste for Australia. Wiped away, a goal after 42 minutes by Lenny Clark. No seat with the ball for Nicosi. To Mialfi, and Mialfi's ball wasn't a good one. And I get the feeling that Nicosi are rattled at the moment. Nicosi, ball back. So at the back post by Alexander. Mercer's And Lenny Clark was there on the line to scoop the ball past Dale. As Gil was trying to go forward against Mercer again, he's been everywhere. He plays the ball forward. A throw in now for Nicosi. No seal take it. Down the line. Looking for Nolan. He gets the header on Nolan. Al tries to pick it up and he was throwing. Not seen much of him in the line. 15 minutes. Really, it's been all as we approach the half time whistle. And Nosey takes the throw in again. And gets in there. And then Mafio tries to spread it out to his other brother, Kevin. And now Lenny Clark going forward. Chance here for Australia. Lenny Clark just pushed it too far, but still, Australia going forward. And there's a bit of standing and pushing going on and there's a player down I'm not quite sure who it is Lenny Clark being told to stay away as Lee Madden gets to his feet very slowly he certainly took a bit of a knock and a bit of a stamp in them from Lenny Clark the referee, though, won't allow the physio on. Waving play on as we go into injury time, which I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of. Mill up with the header, and then Joseph loses out to Nolan. And now no see the ball. Can't knock it. Has to lay it off for Gilbray. Not a good ball. This is there. But his header goes straight into touch. Nolan got a shove in the back then. The referee's way play on again. As the challenges fly in fast and furious. Alexander got a touch on the ball. Then Mafia plays it forward. 
And now the ball of four for Nolan. Nolan down the line. It's a good one for Mattia. Mattia puts back inside and wins the throwing off Clark. In fact, because we did. As that ball's played down the line and there's a free kick there. Kevin Nolan is writhing there in a bit of pain and he looks like he's in a bit of trouble here, Kevin Nolan. So he's recovered enough now to get to his feet after looking like he was near certain to have broke his leg. Kevin Nolan now gets to his feet and he's walking about as if nothing has happened. Nikosi still get the free kick though as we approach the fourth minute of injury time. Madden now with the free kick for Nicosi. A chance maybe here to get back in front before the break. As Madden swings the ball in, it's a good corner. And there's the header just wide from David Nolan. Wasn't far off that header. As that ball was swung in from Madden, Nolan got ahead on it. Didn't connect fully. And I think if he had it done, Ben Roy Spring, who was really nowhere, would have seen the ball in the back of his net. As it is, the score looks like it's going to be 1-1 one, one at half-time as Mr Harrison looks at his watch. Spring with a goal kick. He's got a fair distance up again. And Lem up. Harrison's got a whistle in his hand. As we go into the six minutes of injury time, Noakes with the header out. Looking for Mafia. Mafia plays it forward and now Mater goes up. And then Bramble falls over and wow. And then Alex Clark plays the sensible thing. Does the sensible thing laying the ball back to his keeper. The referee looks at his watch again as Spring plays the ball forward. Oh, Alexander got a massive jump then. Some six or seven feet in the air then. <laughs> Nolan with the throw in. Down the line again, not a good throw in. And Clark gets the ball. It's good challenge from Nolan though to dispossess him because when he gets that ball, Lenny Clark, he does look dangerous. Mater finds a bit of room and then he runs into Colin Bramble and Bramble actually wins the free kick <laughs> to the ironic cheers from the Australian fans <laughs> Clark with the free kick Plays it forward, looking for Alexander. Alexander got the header on, but Nicosi clear. Only as far as Leslie. Leslie oh, gets Lambert. Lambert lays a great little ball off there for Miller. Miller to the edge of the area. And Miller loses a bit There's the half time whistle. The two off here. having much the better of the first period although Nicosi did it the bar the post threw a header from Mata Nicosi won Australia won here at half time
has made any substitutions here at half time, both sticking to the formations that finished the first half. As we wait for Mr. Harrison to get us underway here. Ostrave attacking from right to left in this second half to the Shevington end here. And Nicosi attacking the home end, and they've won a free kick here at Stead at the start from left to right. Madden with the free kick. Looking to restore Nicosi's lead, which they really did give away in the last five minutes of the half. As that ball's played, tried, tried to play through to Lenny Clark, and then and then Douglas picks it up, lays it back for Miller. Or Bramble, sorry, Bramble it was, who played it forward for Lenny Clark and really got Lenny Clark killed. As a Ostrevic player goes down, and they'll have to receive some attention here. Took a knock on his back there, I suspect. Or maybe it's his shin. Just to repeat that if this game stays the same way at 1 1, there will be half an hour extra time played, 15 minutes each way, and then if still the, the, there's nothing to divide these sides, and the score's the same or level, we will have a replay on the 12th of May at Enfield SC, kick off 3 o'clock. Stravik now with a free kick. Mickey Leslie will take it. <laughs> Leslie, ball into the box. Good header out by Mafori. Up to Wild. Wild, great little ball inside to Matur, but Matur really did put Wild in a bit of trouble. But Wild still forward. Then Wild. Goes to get the throw in. No, stand the line there for Ellie Fori. Mature inside the box looking for a while, but Penroy Spring came out then with knees held high to collect that ball. And then he launches the kick against Spring. It looks like he's going to go straight into touch, unless Clark can perform a miracle, which he can't. And Nolan quickly takes the throw in up to Wild, cuts back, plays it down the line. And then fights for it again to Matur. Matur, oh, he's just run that ball too far. And it's now Ostravic's turn to throw it forward. Stan Alexander again got the header in as the ball's played through to Mercer. Joseph, Joseph now with Nolan. Nolan gives it away. Joseph swings the ball in. It's a good cross. There's a hand there by Madden. It's a good job that didn't connect because that would have been a penalty to certain because it was deliberate. He meant to put his hand up then. He was very lucky to get away with that then. Lee Madden. As Tony Mercer gets ready to swing this ball in. First corner of the half. It's a good one and there's a header there from... Really, the ball was always going to go up once it touched him, and he would have done better to leave it and let it go in for another goal. My scramble, which we certainly had a lot of it. Paul Dale, not at all. Dale, 
with the goal kick, not a good punishment, really. Done much. It's goal kick, Stairless. That ball goes through there for Elifuori. Elifuori's got men in the centre if he can find them. Cuts back and gets a great crossing. No wilds there. And he acrobatically died for that one. Unfortunately, he just couldn't connect. And the ball goes wide for a goal kick for Ostravic. Something that I didn't notice in the first half. Paul Dale, who is having trouble with his kicks, he's not getting much distance on him. Did ask, or I don't know if he asked, but Madden went back to try and take the goal kicks, but Dale was having none of it and said that he'd carry on taking them. As we have a bit of short changing going on, a few whistles from the crowd. Spring forward to Clark. Play from Lenny Clark. Got away well, and there was a foul then by. And he's going to get a warning here as play continued. And there was a, a bit of an injury here for Joey Kilbray. He doesn't really know where he is. I think he should seek some attention because he looked to have a bit of concussion then, did Joey Gilbray. He was, looked a bit dazzled by that knock as Douglas plays the free. Got Douglas outside instead. He cuts inside, lays a great one too with Clark. Douglas with a shot. I should have said Mercer with a shot. Unfortunately, it lacked the power to get in the bottom corner and Dial easily took it. And then he takes the kick and with the wind, he's got a fair distance with that one, but Clark knocks it out. And then Noel, Clark's got away from Nolan again, but not from Joey Gilbray. And Gilbray was fouled. And Nostrovic get the free kick. Madden forward to Wild, Wild now looking for some movement, finds it in Matur, Matur chasing with Bramble, but Matur couldn't keep it in. to have note along with Tom Finney here is Giuseppe Palladino he played yesterday in his first first team loose to take on his defender and then gives the ball away to Nolan Nolan with a chance to counter attack yes Giuseppe Palladino the Wigan goalkeeper signed from a local non-league club in Liverpool he's down there on the Nicosi side of things as that ball's played out to Nolan Nolan turns and lays the ball back but it wasn't a good ball from Mercer and Nolan sorry he was under pressure from Mercer as the ball's thrown forward and Nosh gives away another throw in which M Miller will take Miller with a long ball down the line there for Alexander, Alexander swings the cross in, wasn't a good one. And Nicosi clear, only as far as Leslie, Leslie swings the ball back in, Clark's on side, Leslie Clark, oh, Lenny Clark with a shot, but it was straight at Dale. Ostrovic are certainly starting to create the more and the better chances in this game. They're starting to dominate as well as Miller. Doesn't get a good ball away, but it'll be a free kick here for Nicosi. Phil Douglas really did make a mess of that one. Joey Gill. Ball inside the box, Benny Spring comes for it and just takes it because David Nolan was coming in 
like a really a house on fire then at the back post spring with a kick up for alexander alexander gets the header on actually miller he got the header on as mercer tries to pick the ball up and loses to mafia mafia plays it forward early forward Ten minutes. Still, the score's the same as up again in the air goes Miller. <laughs> and now Fiore plays the ball through. Nolan fell down under a challenge then. And a free kick's been given. Madden will take it. Ostrav Ostravic under a bit of pressure here. Nikos' first really attack on goal, and that's a good ball forward. Good header out as well by Leslie. The Ostravic captain as Alexander tries to pick it up, and he does well. Stan Alexander and then wastes the good work that he did with the poor ball forward. Great save from Ben Roysbring, the ball's still up in the air. Goal! No! How did Elifori miss it? The Nikosi Ben showed their hands on their heads. It was really something that you shouldn't have missed. Ravik heads it out, and there's an offside flag up as Lenny Clark tries to go forward. He's going to be brought back. <laughs> Mickey Leslie not with a free kick, which he's going to leave for Ben Roy Spring. Spring saying that that's not a good idea. And instead it's played over to Phil Douglas. Douglas cuts inside and lays a great ball forward. Lambert Joseph will chase this one. He's with Kieran Nolan and Nolan not has to knock it out for a Ostravic throw him. Which Miller will take. Miller into Clark. Good interception though by Nolan. And then the ball's given away. Leslie to Douglas. Douglas does well. Does well. But no, she's there first. No, she's under pressure, though. Manages to win the throw in. As the sun, for the first time this afternoon, comes out. And Elifiori goes forward. Elifiori now with Miller. He's through. Elifiori gets away from his man. Keeps the ball in play. He's taking on Miller. And he's won the corner. Nikos is first of the half. 15 minutes of this Football Association Sunday League Cup final. And still we're deadlocked with Nikosi one, Estrovic one. Goals from Ian Wilde after 10 minutes and Lenny Clark after 42. As Madden swings that ball in, it's a good corner. Good header out though by Alexander. Douglas picks it up and plays it forward.
Victor takes it. Intelligent ball to Miller. Miller down the line, but there's nobody there. And no shriek. Knocks the ball back. Just like to mention the attendance here. It was a nice start half time. 640, which is a great figure considering that both these sides are Sunday League teams and get no more than 50 or 60 people watching them normally. And when you consider the added, the added fact that they have come some 200 or 300 miles, Australic, and even Nikos have had to travel some distance from Liverpool. It does go well for the future of this competition. As does Tom, number ten, Arthur Miori comes off, and number fourteen, Steve Cole comes on. He's definitely on the pitch because he's just. But I mean, gave the ball back to the and kick forward. It's up there, but he can only head it out for a Nikos throw in, which Nolan is quick to take down to Wild. Wild in a bit of a corner, and Clark gets in there, and then Nolan hits it back up in the air. Leslie hits it out and then clears it again. Only as far as Joey Gilbride just let the ball roll out for another throw in. Gilbride with a long throw down the line. Good header again from Leslie. Mercer controls it for Clark and then see another bad ball played. Too many balls are being played. Not into space. But to nobody. Mercer's up there, heads it on, but Wild picks the ball up and he's with a free kick. I've got to say that there's a lot of culture in this crowd. If you listen, for some of what's being said. It's certainly entertaining. They're certainly making up for any lack of activity on the pitch at times, as Mafiori plays the ball forward for Nolan. Great challenge there by Colin Bramble. Certainly got his man and the ball superbly. Without committing a foul, and he won the, the throw in as well. And he takes it, looking for Clark. Nolan's there, though. Good control from Douglas, but he just couldn't keep all the possession. And the throwing goes now Nikos' way. The substitute, Steve Cole, will take it. Cole getting ready to launch the long throwing as Mafia gets a few nudges and there's a bang of heads there between Mercer and Mafia. Really, I'm not quite sure that what that's about. There's a bit of pushing going on again. Clark's in there trying to sort it out as both physios come on. I think there was a bit of a clash of heads then as both sets of players moved round.
have upset the players really standing round. Mercer who's got to his feet. It's now just Mafia who's down. Maria. Or however you pronounce that name. He looks like he's going to be fit to continue. The Nikos number 10. As the Astravic physio goes on, just give them a mention. If I can find who they are. Here we go. Ray Maglin. He's doing the job with the sponge. And for Nichols, just a wait for the throwing to be taken. Cole plays the ball to Nolan. Nolan heads it up in the air while, flicks it on. And then Lenny Clark's back there to clear up to Stan Alexander. He's dispossessed by Nose. Nose going forward. Plays a great ball through. I feel all inside the area. Oh, he just lost his foot in. And there's an offside flag anyway. The physio for Nick for Nichols is Bernie Marshall. Mickey Leslie just telling his place to push up to try and catch it. Trap again. <laughs> Nolan picks it up and then loses out. And he was fouled, says Mr. Harrison. 25 minutes coming up to Ghana this second half. We're halfway through the second half still these sides stalemate here at one all as Marin the freak if you can pick the ball up you can't and there's a offside again there one last thing to mention about Australia they are top of their league a league which they hope to win this year and if they could also add the added glory of winning the Sunday National FA Cup I suppose in a way they have done their own kind of double here Ben Roy Spring launches the kick again looking for Clark Clark good little turn from Clark he goes away from his man and keeps up and then Madden gets in the way and hits it clear as Clark and Mafia tangle again. Good bit of play on the far side for Miller. Lays it off for Mercer. Mercer hits that ball forward, but no, she's there first, and he comfortably knocks it back to his keeper. <laughs> Starting to look ever more likely that we're going to have extra time here as that Long kick goes forward, great header from Leslie though. And maybe even it was Alex Clark. Douglas going forward, battling away then. Tries to find not Alexander, try to find Noel Miller. He gave a little push then to Joey Gilbert. Australia get the throw in, which Nolan. The line for Kieran Nolan. Nolan now. Tries to whip the cross in, took a deflection, surely. Yes, corner for Nikos. Nikos now with the corner, it's again wasted. Mercer, a chance to clear, and he does so. But Nikos win the throw in. 
which Northern will take. Wild was screaming for it. Instead, it's given to Mafiuri. Mafur, I mean, Cole, the sub. And not. Gilbray plays it forward. Good header from Brumble. And Nicole's got the throw in again this time. Nolan will leave it for Cole. Cole looking to launch the long throw in. Cole into the air. It's a good one. Mafiuri's up there. Souls wild and Nolan, it might come back for Mafia. Ostravic Clyde tried to clear Alexander. The good ball dispossessed. And then he goes forward again. Got men in the box if he can get the crossing. Miller swings it in. It's a good one. Clark's there with the head up. But he couldn't direct it. And Nikos escaped. Mercenar with the throwing again. It's a good one into the area. Clark wins the header on. It comes to Douglas. Douglas with a shot that wasn't that far wide, and he kept it down. <laughs> Things starting to liven up again as we approach the last quarter of this second half. And it started to look inevitable that we're going to get extra time here. There's neither side are really looking likely to score. But with Sunday League football, you never know. It only takes one mistake, and the cup could be lost or won. Maria dives in, and then Mercer dives in. These two sides' legs will be starting to tie. And get, gaps will start to open up in the last 10 minutes as Ostravic wins another free kick. They really have played most of this game at such a pace that it's not surprising that the legs will tire as Mercer plays the ball in the box. A good header down, but it's easily taken by Dale. Dale. And now Dale launches the kick. It's a good one. Gets a good bounce on as well. And Bramble had to get the header out, and now uh, Douglas, Douglas on a run, but he just went too far. But then he finds the ball back at his feet, Douglas played it off to Clark, Clark to Mercer. Mercer, oh, he just tried to do too much then. Wild now picks it up. Good play from Ian Wild. he's found a bit of room in front of him, looking for some support, plays a terrific ball through. But Miller read it superbly, I mean, Lambert Joseph read it superbly. He got, well, he got back extremely well then, Lambert Joseph. As Spring launches a massive kick. That one's got on it. Miller. The ball in play. And now looks for some support. There's a great ball to Mercer. Oh, he just couldn't find him. And then Cole knocks it back to his keeper. Day. Good header out by Bramble. And then back up in the air by Gilbray. And then Douglas takes over the situation, lays it off for Clark. Clark now plays it back to Douglas, but Cole was. Considering there's only 640 people here, they're certainly making a lot of noise in the stand behind me. You wouldn't tell. You couldn't tell, I mean. <laughs> Douglas gets a great round of applause as he comes off. He's replaced by Mickey Patrick. He's not wearing the number four. Instead, number 15, just to confuse things even more. Yeah. 
as the ball might find for Mercer was a handball then notice Mr. Ramble with the header back Nolan gets the on his then hits the ball straight up number six Kieran Nolan and then Wire wins the throw in Mirav Cole plays it forward but again Leslie's there we're not quite sure who the 15 he's come on yet I think it's Mickey Patrick but we can't be certain as he's wearing the number 15 shirt and it's not Alexander Miller's there they do look quite alike Miller and Alexander as Kevin Nolan finally goes to the ground he was carrying a bit of an injury he does look in severe pain I don't know if you can hear the noise behind me, but the Australian fans are starting to have a bit of a party here in the stand. As the substitute, the man who just got substituted, Phil Douglas, gives his fans the thumbs up. You certainly can't say that this crowd hasn't brought maybe their own bit of entertainment here to Springfield Park today. They show, certainly showed us a new breed of football fans that really, if we could have more of it, would be superb as that ball goes back to the keeper just. They've not stopped singing all the way through the game and it's not been swearing, there's been no swearing, anything like that. It's been all above board stuff as Clark gets a bit of push in there and he'll win the free kick or will he? Mr Harrison gives it the other way which seems a bit surprising but Joey Gilbray ain't complaining and he'll take the free kick forward it goes, a good header out by Clark and then Cole picks it back up and the ball comes forward again. Wild heads it on and Nolan might just keep the ball in play. Kevin Nolan, oh, he was fouled then, surely. Yes, he was, says Mr. Harrison. Colin Bramble then with a dreadful tackle. And I think he's going to get booed for that one. Yes, he is. Colin Bramble, the second Astrovic player to go in the book. He'll join Norman Miller, who went in the first half. As we approach the last 10 minutes of this game, Kevin Nolan again receiving attention. And we are going to have to add on another two, three minutes as Nolan swings the ball in. Good header out though by Clark. Clark now again hits it forward and then back he comes. Nolan's on side. No, he's not. As Penroy Spring did his own bit of a defending then I'm not quite sure what's going on here there's going to be I think a free kick I don't know what for Mr Harrison certainly seen something and he's given a free kick on the edge of the area I can only think that he could be, maybe, for handball. Although I don't know as the Nicosi players are told to wait a minute because there's going to be another substitution. Adrian Whiteman's going to come on. Whiteman is going to replace Kevin Nolan, who really is limping something rotten. He does seem to have took a knock on that leg. He's in severe pain, and Adrian Whiteman 
comes on for Nikos. Nikos now with a free kick. It's in a dangerous position. Maybe if they could score now, it might just finish things. Nolan straight through the wall. Oh, good save again by Ben Roy Spring. Nolan hit his shot. The wall did his job because it smothered the force of it. And then Ben Roy Spring came out of his area, came out to the of his six-yard area and collected the ball well. Adrian Waitman got his first touch then. But he couldn't do anything with it, but give it back, and then the ball goes down again. There's a lot of nasty little tackles going on, and there's a bit of pushing by Cole. A bit of feeling creeping in the game. The outcome of which will be a drop ball. Cole. And I'm not sure if the other player was in there. It's Clark. Wins the free kick. Eight minutes to go now. Leslie with the ball. Swings it forward. It's a the area. Good header on. But there's a free kick there for a bit of pushing. Alexandra and Miller both went too high, says the referee. With a long kick forward, the, the players stopped them because they thought the whistle was by the referee. It seems a bit stupid because it's from the Australian fans and the Australian players were the ones who nearly paid for it. The player in the middle just seemed to stop them. Australia's number eight. As that header on will find Lambert Joseph, Joseph. Goes down the line, he's won the corner. Yes, he has. Just straight at bench, then just got up and made a signal to the crowd to just try and refrain from doing that. Maybe not in as many polite words as that, as that corner from Mercer was really wasted. With a goal kick, it's got a decent ball forward as well up to Elifori. Elifori leads it for Mar Murphy. Murphy inside for Nolan. Nolan to Wild Wild back there. Forward again. And Miller's under a bit of pressure and he has to give away the throw in. She's quickly taken to Nolan. Nolan back there for Cole, who wins the throwing again. And now Cole will launch the throw, and it's a deep one inside the area. This bit of messing about. Wild might pick it up again. A bit of a scramble, or oh, and a long range effort there from the substitute, Adrian Waitman. Again with a goal kick, again he's got a decent length on it. Miller's up there, wins it. And the ball's hit forward again. Didn't find anybody. As Leslie miss hits his kick. Nolan now on the run, Nolan. Taking on defenders, Nolan. 
with support here in no snow show he tried to go too far and lambert joseph's away joseph now he's got speed that lad lays it forward to alexander alexander plays it forward for clark and clark fighting with waitman waitman's won the ball forward that was a dreadful tackle there by cole and cole's going to get a lecture here and a booking as well a dreadful tackle then on mercer the first nicole's player to go in the book here he joins the two australian players norman miller and colin bramble the full backs As Mickey Leslie gets ready to take the free kick, Leslie brings that ball in the box. The heads go up. They've certainly got the aerial prowess in that type of situation, Ostravic. As Miller just dives in. And then the ball's played forward. There's no offside flag. Clark battling for the ball. The referee waves play on as Waitman goes through and he nearly found Wild. Good play from Clark. Taking on all comers then. Clark plays it forward for Alexander. Then Mercer plays it forward again, but Mercer's ball only found Gilbride. Gilbride plays a long ball forward for Elifori. Elifori will have a job to keep that in though. with the kick again it's a good one but it's one wild now a chance if he can keep the ball in play to make some oh good. bye Bram it was even Alex Clark coming over then from the <laughs> Cole now with the throw in he'll launch this one in the box we're coming up to injury time here in this second half Off. deep inside the box it's got to be a corner, no, as Nolan takes his anger out on the football. Spring with the goal kick again. Neither side will want to concede a goal here in the last few minutes. It'd be a disaster if they did. Really, a draw on reflection would be a fair result, but we're going to have another half an hour of extra time if no winner is provided here in the last few minutes. I think it is near enough certain, as we've been saying all the way through this second half, that it's going to go to extra time this game. It really does seem the likely scenario as that ball's played forward unless there's really a huge mistake by somebody Mercer plays the ball through handball surely no says the referee Ostravic players surround him for the minute but then the rest their attention's turned as they win the throw in and there's a man down there Ellie Fori and he, he'll have to make his get back up because Nicosia played both their substitutes here and he does get up. And Miller takes the throw in down the line. Good header out by Nor Nolan. As Mr. Harrison gets ready to blow his whistle, he's looked at his watch twice. He's got the whistle in the mouth. As Ostravic go through, he's found a bit of room and he's won the corner. No, he's not. The linesman didn't agree with me. And Lambert Joseph should feel a bit unlucky about that one because he did well then to get round, used his speed well. In fact, it was Alexander on the overlap. Madden 
plays the short goal kick. I don't think it went at the area then. Now the linesman or referees noticed it. But I don't think that ball did go at the area then. Clark with the ball forward. Clark was fouled then, yes, says the referee. We've now played a minute and a half of injury time. Maybe a chance here for Ostravic to snatch something in the dying seconds. I think they'll pile everybody forward for this one. Leslie's gone up for it. So's Miller. So's Bramble as Mercer gets ready to swing the ball in the box. In it goes. Clark's come for it. Punches it out. A good clearance by Deo. As the ball's played back for Joseph. Joseph keeps it in. Good running from Lambert Joseph. He's still got possession. Lays it back. And now Miller swings the ball high in the air. Not a good ball. Still Joseph going. And he's won the corner. They're going to have to be quick to take this because we've already played two minutes of injury time. As Madden tries to hold up positions a bit more. It would be really quite amazing if Australia won this game here in the last minute. It'd be a fairy tale season for them after only being formed last year as Mercer swings the ball in. It's a good corner. Oh! Lenny Clark was so close. He holds his hands on his head, and he might well, because really, if he'd added that anywhere else, and if he could have just kept it down another two or three inches, that'd have been the winner, for sure. That's probably the best chance of the half for the Ostravic team. Lenny Clark with a header that seemed goal-bound, and eventually just went over the bar. No, 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 see, finishing the half on the defensive, but they've won a throw him. There cannot be much more left now of normal time or even injury time. We must be very close to approaching extra time. As Nose throws the ball forward, good header on. A stray bit clear, only as far as Nose again, Nose hits it back forward to this near side and then Clark picks it up Lenny Clark plays a good ball forward there's an overlap if he can be found no he can't and Nigosi get the ball back again Lenny Clark has it again but Nolan picks it up Nolan still going forward lays it inside for Joey Gilbride Gilbride tries a half shot there but Ben Roy Spring was never going to let that one in Mr. Harrison takes another look at the watch. As Spring launches the kick again. Corey with... He's chasing, he's through, good running here. But great defending from Madden. <laughs> Neither side could get the, first, the winner here in the second half. There were chances at either end. Notably, two headers from Lenny Clark for Ostravic. I suppose sides just get a breather here for a minute. A sad day for either one if they lose not after coming so far. I think they both really deserve a replay after putting in 100%, 110% here in both halves.
we've had the break after full time and now we're getting ready to start the first quarter of extra time with Nichols have won the toss and they'll carry on playing the same way from left to right Ostravic from right to left as Nolan picks the ball up plays it inside to Wild. Wild, a test of fitness now for both these sides as Wild takes on a bit of a run and then loses out finally to Mercer but Nolan's in there Mercer still goes and led a great ball forward advantage should have been played then because Joseph was away Mr Harrison really should have let the advantage go then and I think Joseph is telling him that it was a shame that he couldn't do as Mr Harrison tells Norman Miller to hurry things up a bit Miller the ball across field and it's headed inside by Clark and then it's picked up by Miller Miller lays the ball off there to Joseph Joseph swings the cross in but it was straight at no Nolan and Nolan not he could get it back to his keeper if he loop instead he places it to Nosh Nosh lays the ball off to Murray Murray back there to Nolan as Cole hits it forward Leslie's there and he Cleverly knocks it back to Ben Roy Spring. <laughs> and now Spring launches the kick again. Nolan keeps the ball in play, lays it off for Wild. Wild, though, lost the ball as I think substitute Mickey Patrick got back there to defend. No, it wasn't Mickey Patrick, it was. Colin Bramble Cole lays the ball off for Whiteman Whiteman inside the box but Mercer's there Mercer now to Clark Clark oh he lost the ball then and his footing but he still got possession Clark After five minutes, 94 minutes into this game, four minutes of extra time gone, Nicosia retake the lead, 2-1. Ian Wilde, stressing to his players not to give it away this time. Australia gets him from the way again. The penalty. As Nosh puts himself in a bit of trouble there at the back. But he gets it clear and then loses out. LFO goes round his man and he's still going. He's took on 
Miller, LA4 still going, cuts inside the box, trying to go too far. And running the room. And Australia get the goal kick. Spring with the goal kick. Hits it forward. Back it comes again though for Nicosia. Bramble under pressure here from Nolan. But he gets the ball away up to Patrick. Patrick. Oh, he does well, Patrick. But then he's put his defender in a bit of trouble here. But Clark does well and then gets fouled by Wild. And gets the free kick. with it hits the ball forward as Joseph oh that was a bad foul on Joseph then and Australia right they get the free kick the crowd shouted for Leo West to be given the chance to come on there's no movement from the bench yet Mercer inside the area, Alexander's up there, good header, oh, it's got to be in, no, oh, Clark with the ball, still the pressure's on, Nicosia, there's a man down for them, no, she is, it's a deep corner, good header, no, wide, wasted. As no, is pretty slow to get to his feet, and he's going to have to receive some attention, really, that was panic stations then for Nicosia, Ostravic really piled it on, and it looked like Lenny Clark might get his second goal of the game as well then. <laughs> Extra time will not be unusual to Ostravic. They had to use have extra time to beat Ely City in the first round. And in the third round after a replay against Bryn's community. Where, as Nikos have always gone through before in the 90 minutes and haven't even needed a replay. So for them, they're entering new territory. As that header from Patrick puts Australia back on the attack and then Cole picks it up. Great ball, four from Cole. Ellie falls on side, but he just had to check his run because the ball was a bit slow coming. Still he has possession and he tried to work the ball down the line. He's won it back as well. They fall inside the area. Good win by Leslie. Mercer lays a great ball there for Joseph. Joseph inside there to Alexander. Alexander plays the ball forward. Still pressure on here. Miller. It might come to Alexander or Patrick. And then Mercer. And finally, Nicosia come away with it. Whiteman. Whiteman. Le lays the ball to the far side but it's never going to get over the huge frame of Norman Miller and he'll hit that ball forward it's a good one to Mercer, Mercer cuts it back. oh there's a three offside there if the ball's played and Mercer sensibly realised it bit of daisiness is creeping in as the advantage is played turn Patrick trying to get in oh good challenge and really both sets of play starting to tie an arc We've seen a lot of possession being given away and Cole does the sensible thing and lays the ball back to his keeper. Eight minutes of this extra time, first period gone. Still a long way to go in this game yet. Certainly none of the crowd will believe in yet as Wild goes up in the air for it and he's got the ball Wild keeps possession, it's a good ball through there for Nolan, Nolan inside the area, wins the corner. Nicole's now putting the pressure on again as the boot comes out here for Marifa. Arthur Maria is going to get booked.
There's a man still down for Ostravic. Colin Bramble. Leo West is on the bench. He's already stripped off, meaning that he must be coming on anyway in a few minutes. As the corner is taken, good header out by Leslie. Back in the area, just wide. Good header there by Joey Gilbright. And it was only two or three inches past Ben Roy Springs post as the substitution looks to be wanted to be made by Ostravic. Or maybe he's just putting over his bump point of view. <laughs> he's trying to bring over the on the substitution. The referee isn't allowing it yet as Mayfer plays the ball forward offside there against the Leafer. And now the substitution will be able to take place. Leo West, I think, is coming on, though he's playing number 14, which number 14 in the pro is Miss Mickey Patrick. But from the way the crowd are shouting Leo West, I've got a feeling that it's Leo West coming on. Places number nine, Stan Alexander, as Ben Roy. We're three minutes away from the second period of extra time. As Patrick lays the ball back and he's put his defender under pressure there, Clark. As Mr. Harrison won't let the injury player be seen to. And Kevin Nolan's going to have to get up. Again with the ball. Again he loses to take on too many people and he's lost out. Nolan, chance of a break. Oh, handball, surely. Yes, it's been given. It was a definite handball then by Norman Miller. And they go see, get a free kick. Madden will take it. Hits the ball forward, not a good free kick. Mercer heads it out to Clark. Clark now trying to go forward, and then Joseph gives away possession. Down the line it goes again. Wild, oh, he tried to do too much, and then was seemingly fouled. No, says the referee. There was a foul, though, on Kieran Nolan. And Yossi will get the free kick now. Joey Gilbright will take this free kick. As Wild is out to have a word with the referee about something. As Galbri flicks it in and the header comes in, but it was always well wide by Moriri. Spring with the goal kick again. Good header though by Nolan. We're into injury time now. 
as Bramble throws the ball for Merez, they're not. Nolan, again, the challenge was light on Nolan by Patrick. He's certainly been in the walls a bit, Nolan, today. <laughs> as Gilbride gets ready to take the free kick, there can only be seconds left of this first period of extra time. As Gilbray hits the ball straight into the substitute, Leo West. And he has to settle for a throw in as Bramble goes forward, lays a good ball as well. Inside by Clark. Good play here by just seems to just fall down and they just seem to be maybe lack a bit of direction when it gets to 30 40 yards out the, the approach plays brilliant but when it comes to the box there's nothing there as the second Nicosi player goes in the book he joins two Ostrovic players and Arthur Mira of his own team. <laughs> it's not a good free kick, Mara heads it out and then Nolan flicks it on up to Wild. Wild controls. Luke Sisson to four, hasn't got any, has to go it along. Finally does play it forward and there's nobody there. And he does a bit of shouting about that. We've now played two minutes of injury time in this first period of extra time. As Nolan heads the ball forward and Leslie's there again just to knock it back to spring. And there. Uh, is the half-time whistle, which ends the first period of extra time. There'll be no rest in the hip that will just swap, both sides will just swap round. And the referee telling, saying, only And Estrovic have 15 minutes to get level at back level in this game while Nicosi have 15 minutes to try and stay in front Australia <laughs> now to start the second half and Clark gets us underway cuts back inside and then lays it off for Mercer and there's a free kick there and again the advantage could have been played because Ostravic had the overlap as Mercer is told to take the ball back 10 yards before he takes the free kick Finally, Mercer takes it, plays it for to Clark. Clark can't control, though, from the pass from the other Alex Clark. As Norman Miller takes the throw in to Lenny Clark. Lenny Clark going forward again. Advantage could have been played. Again, the ball's pulled back for a free kick, which Mercer's quick to take to Clark. Clark inside the area. He had a bit of room, lays it back for Mercer. Mercer, edge of the area, plays a good ball there to the far side. Clark gets the cross in, the heads are up. Oh, and he nearly fell to Clark.
Kosi now with the, free, the goal kick. Dale hits it forward. Not a good kick. It's going to come straight back to Clark. Clark this time was not fouled, says the referee. And Ostravic got the throw in. Which Nosh will take. Nosh down the line to nobody there. And Ostravic get the throw in. Which Norman Miller will take. Miller down the line again. Leo West is there. He does well, the substitute. He's still going forward, Leo West. Good run, and he's won the throw in as well. A chance here for Mercer to get the long throw in. Mercer with a long throw. It's a massive one to Clark. Clark keeps the ball in play. Chance here, handball. Sure, yes. It's a penalty. A penalty for Ostravic. A chance here, two minutes into the second period of extra time to draw a level. I'm not quite sure which of the Nicosi players did it. I think, by the way, number four, Madden's holding his head on his hands. It was him. Yes, I, I think it was Madden. Either way, Ostravic get a great chance here to get back in the game. Number five, Alex Clark's going to take it. Clark versus Dale. Can he put them level? Clark shoots. Goal! Ostravic a level. Two all. Clark celebrates as the play put, as the officials try to keep the players off the pitch. Unbelievable. The ground just seemed to erupt them as officials, players and spectators just went crazy. And all of a sudden, we look like we're back on the replay again. Bramble plays the ball forward, but it's going to go straight through to Dale. That goal certainly brought the Australian fans back to Trying to go forward, it was Clark's. <laughs> and that Nolan there uh, gives away the throw in, and all of a sudden it's Ostravic who looked the more likely to win the game. We're five minutes into this second period of extra time, and we're back on dead level again. Leo West going forward, good tackle from Nolan, but West wins it back. And then there's a few risky challenges, goes in, Madden with one of them, then Nolan with a swing then. And Ostravi get the free kick. Mercer telling everybody just to calm it down. Before he takes the free kick. Which he swings into the box, Dale's come for this, he's not going to get it, he's headed it in! No, it's kept off the line by Madden. He's certainly made up for giving the penalty away as the ball comes back across. It had already gone out and Dale took it anyway. But the header then from Leo West seemingly was going in and Madden hacked it off the line. It's certainly getting very, very nervous here for both teams. Nichols thought they'd won it. Then Ostravic put back in the first half, then Nichols went back in front in this first period of extra time and now Ostravic a pull back again and it's Ostravic now doing most of the pressing good run here from Bramble Bramble gets the crossing again there looked to be a handball Ostravic get the throw in which Mercer will take or will there be a free kick? It'll be a free kick. I was right, it was handball. Mercer crossed it in, not a good cross. It comes back in again, though. Mahara, or is it Cole? Both try to get the ball clear. As Mercer picks it up and goes round his man. Mercer swings the ball in, but it was blocked his cross. 
and Ostrovic just have to be glad with the throw in halfway through this second period of extra time and the coach win the throw in still we are dead level at two all it's been an unbelievable match full of commitment passion and fight for two Sunday league teams as that ball goes through again you certainly could not tell that these two teams are only Sunday league teams and not professional clubs because the football at times has been exceptional maybe the skills not there for all to see but the commitment and the pressure and the enjoyment it's certainly there as Clark lays the ball off for Mercer, Mercer, great cross, West is there, no! Again he's stopped on the line and West and Miller got in each other's way there and ended up lying on the floor together. And if one of them could have just kept on the feet, it would have been certain that the ball would have gone in the back of the net. I'll repeat again that if this game does stay the same way, the replay will be at Enfield FC on Sunday the 12th of May, kickoff 3 o'clock. On my reckoning, that will be next Sunday. As the tackles fly again, Clark. Oh, again, the advantage should have been played. Leo West had a clear run on goal then. Mr. Harrison really could have let play flow a lot more in this game. Some tackles, yes, have needed to be stamped down on and words have had to be said, but a lot of them have been misdemeanors and have stopped the game flowing as that ball's played back in the box. It's all Ostravic at the moment. Leslie back forward again. Oh, he just lost his foot in then, Alex Clark, and he ham there's a bit of an offside or maybe a handball as well. As Dale launches the kick again, it's a massive one for the first time in the half. Nico going to Ostravic territory and Leslie picks the ball up. Good play from the Ostravic captain up to Clark. Clark controls and then loses out. Nikos get the ball back and the ball's played forward but there's an offside there against Nolan. Six minutes left of this game. Six minutes for either of these sides to snatch a winner. As Leslie boots the ball forward, West was up and somehow didn't manage to get hold of it. Again, Nah Ilifori tries to run in the defence. Keeps the ball in play. Great tackle all by Miller. Miller lays the ball off to Joseph. Joseph on a run. Good play. Hits it forward to West. But it's intercepted by Gilbray. And now Wild wins the throw in and he's done. And he's injured again, Wild. Nikosa played both their substitutes. And they really couldn't, can't afford with him going off. Nikos with a throw in. No, she'll take it as Wild gets up to, on his feet. He looks in serious pain, Wild, but I don't think he'll go off because really he just can't. There's just nobody to replace him after both subs have been used. Joseph Nart going forward. Good play from Joseph again. He was obstructed. And he rightly gets the free kick. Ostravic again will pile the pressure on. There's just three minutes of this game left. Mershop with the ball. 
to Patrick. Patrick hits it in the area, took a deflection, and Dale just gets there before West. And now he launches the kick, which Mercer intercepts. Clark plays it forward to the other Clark. And now Mercer picks it up. Mercer cuts back inside, and then he's tackled by Murrow. Clone inside for Whiteman. Waitman, Waitman going forward, lets a ball through the middle, and it's not going back, he might get there before Spring, good take by Spring. He had to be quick then because the back pass by Miller wasn't a good one. As Miller launches the ball forward, good header inside, the pressure's on Nikos again. West trying to get the ball, now Joseph, good play from Nolan past Joseph but he won't get past Clark Clark gets the ball back things up and it goes all the way back to Nets <laughs> only minutes left of this game a replay now seems inevitable as Cole cuts inside, looking for some room, finds it, gets the ball to Wild. Again, on Ostravic. Cole picks the ball up, lays it back to that far side, and then to Whiteman. Whiteman's ball wasn't a good one, and Mercer's here, a chance to. Mercer, oh, he tried to go too far. He's still chasing, though. And now Cole lays the ball off for Nolan. Nolan cuts inside two and then he's fouled. As the off the ball incident goes on, Murray and Leslie both doing a bit of pushing. Left of this game. forward a good five yards from where the foul took place final whistle Madden hits it forward good header out Patrick clears up to West West has got Clark at the side of him but West decides he's going it alone West a chance here a three to one break West still going oh I surely he's gone too far now Leo West, oh, he hits the side netting. If it had looked up, Leo West had seen that Mercer made a great run at the far post. And Clark was also in support, but he just didn't look up Leo West. And it was a shame because that was a great break. As we go into injury time here, the referee takes a look at his watches, telling the place to hurry up, and he takes the whistle from his pocket because there's only seconds left now as Bramble fights for the ball there look Wilds there and Wilds won the throw him a bit of pushing again there with Wild and Bramble and Wild has actually won the free kick no with a free kick, hits it forward to long one. Good header on, chance here, surely if you all scored! Oh no, disaster for Australia. Ecstasy for Nicosia. They're on the pitch for the moment. Elifiori stalling behind. The inquest now goes on. Terry Efiori has scored after 119 minutes. Amazing scenes here. Congratulations.
They received the medals first, and now here comes the celebratory Nicosi team with the captain, Lee Madden, with the cup, the Football Association Sunday League Cup. Lee Madden, he must have thought, after he handballed, made the handball into them, which gave Ostravic the penalty in that second period of extra time that he'd blown it. But back, Nikos came, and that amazing equaliser in the last seconds. I don't think Ostravic have yet believed it. As Madden lifts the cup to the applause of the Nicole fans. There'll be celebrations in Liverpool tonight. But Ostravic can be well pleased with their performance. They put up a tremendous fight here, and for a team that have only been in existence a year, they can go back to London well pleased with their performance and their achievement of reaching the final of such a prestigious competition as this.